Hey everyone, Pitch Canker here, and today we're going to do like a little draw with me situation. I had a concept for a piece I wanted to tackle, and so we're going to just try and attack it over here. So, um, the idea I had was kind of like this. It was a, you know, we'll say like a head, um, and I wanted this person being like a, a figure uh, here in the middle, and then maybe like another figure kind of behind them, grappling them. I haven't really thought of any of the details, but like I thought maybe something like this with like some claws around them or something. Um, this is a very uh, basic idea right now, but uh, we're just going to build it out basically. So what I want to start with here is just a basic head. We're going to go over here. Um, this is how I draw heads. Uh, I have like a very basic kind of uh, approach to doing stuff like this. So this is how we do the head like that. That I'm using um, mostly my brush set today. Um, I have all these, but I do like to use the studio pen for sketching. Uh, so we're going to go through here and I don't really know what I want. I wanted this to be kind of like a piece about obsession. And uh, with like a little bit of a horrifying turn, I do love these kind of subjects and like the idea of people being like compulsed to, um, you know, be obsessed with one another. And so I thought that'd be kind of cool to tackle today. And so we're just going to get this figure. I wanted the figure, the main figure in the middle to be a little afraid, uh, maybe big eyes, um, mouth kind of agape, almost like stunned, I think is a good way to put it. Um, I think I want this figure to be more feminine. I try not to like you like, oh, this is like 100% a man or a woman off rip. Um, I think you just kind of kind of let the piece do its work and you go from there. I tend to draw pretty feminine figures, but um, I like both. It just really depends on the mood, right? So um, here's a pretty decent sketch for a head. Um, I really want to get this highly detailed down the line, but um, this is looking pretty good so far. It's a little off center, so I'm going to do something that I do sometimes um, where I like erase half of the head, right? And we're just going to take this, we're going to freehand it, we're going to copy and paste it, and we're going to spin it like this. It looks kind of nice. Okay, now the eyes are even. Um, they're a little far spaced, but I also have white set eyes, so <laughs> not a huge problem. Uh, we want this look of shock. This eraser is a little too big right now. And I do tend to use um, like not a super sharp eraser. I like a little bit of a messiness when I do my erasing. Oh, i got to merge these layers, otherwise I can't erase that. Um, and so, yeah, let's see. Uh, this is looking pretty interesting so far. Let's get this erased over here. Let's get all this stuff gone. We'll maybe make the nose a little less symmetrical right there. Um, light source, I'm thinking maybe we go from the top over here. So, you know, let's see. That means light would be hitting this, so this will be bright when we even see that. Uh, we're going to make this whole area dark then, right? Okay. We'll have, like, their nose, their nostrils, whatever. Uh, perhaps we'll do, I want the lips to be a little better than that. So we're going to go here. We're going to raise them a little bit. We're going to get rid of this. I like that. That's nice. Um, I wanted the eyes to be a little bit cockeyed. That's a little bit too much. Maybe we'll fill this out like that. Yeah, it's not bad. All right. We'll just fill those in. A little stun lock, a little deer in headlights action going on. And now I want to figure out what I'm going to do with the hair. And so, let's see, we'll add this here. And so the hairline kind of, like, you know, even with the top of the skulls here, I do have to do the hairline a little bit higher because naturally your hair, like, sits on top of your head. So we're just going to do this kind of activity here. I like this kind of hair as well. I like these long kind of, like, choppy locks. It's just something I like to draw, and I have a lot of fun drawing. Um, I'm probably going to try other styles of hair down the line. Um, I do want to do like a, a full on hair study for characters, but for something very simple like this, as far as initial concepting, I just like this and I'm comfortable with it, so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna erase that, and already we kind of have this figure uh, being built out, which is really nice. Um, I do like this. Sometimes I add eyebrows, sometimes I don't. It depends. Um, when you're, the eyes are this expressive, um, sometimes you don't need it. But I do want to darken a lot of this area, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of map out. I'm gonna put a layer underneath and kind of figure out where I want all of the shadows to be. And if I like it, I'll end up, um, actually, let's go back a little bit there. I always have the problem of drawing over like the hairline and stuff like that. It won't really matter too much because ultimately I'm probably going to just like fill in a lot of this with black and we'll, you know, we'll go from there. But I do want to just map out, um, you know, where all the different planes are. I actually have a student that I teach and, um, you know, I do like a mentorship with them and I was with them yesterday. And I was going over how important it is to kind of like plane out the face, right? And to kind of figure out where all the different lines are and where the shadows will hit when light hits a certain direction. I was giving them all this advice. I'm like, you know, I should practice this myself <laughs> a little bit more, you know? So 
we'll do that. There's gonna be a little bit of an overcast there, a little bit underneath there. And then if the light's coming from this way, we're gonna end up putting a little bit of shadow under here as well. And so, um, so let's see the chin and the head are over here and we're just gonna go this way and we're gonna do this. And already this is looking pretty solid. And so, okay, there's that. And so what, we have the clavicles, which are the collarbones. And then you have this over here. Now, I, I heard they were called clavicles because I had a teacher, a uh, math teacher, and he was really into like old school boxing. And he told me there was a move that they would use called shiver shots that they had to make illegal where they would hit someone in the forearms uh, with their forearms on their clavicles. And if you collapse these, the whole uh, upper body area collapses. It's pretty brutal. So I've always remembered that. Uh, but he was like, they're clavicles. <laughs> And I was like, all right, uh, be wary of the clavicles, basically. So thank you, Mr. Plumber, for that. Uh, so right over here. Okay, it's looking pretty good. This is nice. I like this concept. I like the figure. Um, I'll probably make the hair black and the background red, right? So if we're going to look at this just as like a, a, a more fleshed out idea, right? We have this red in the back. That's already pretty cool. Um, let's just say there's a little white here as well. And I'm thinking for the shading here, I will probably end up going with something um, more of like a gradient instead of these lines, but it's just nice to be able to understand where uh, the different light and dark areas are gonna be regardless if it's the final or not. And so what I'm doing right now, I'm just actually filling out this whole area with white. I use a studio pen for this again, just because um, it's really great for filling in areas. And there we go, so that's that. And so I don't know if this is exactly where I want them yet, but we're just gonna end this figure right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this into there and I messed it up. So let's actually remove this layer. Where am I missing? Where is the white not connecting? This is like one of my biggest challenges. Uh, maybe here? That looks like it. Could be up here as well. All right, well, let's see if that works. Okay, that did work. Okay, so actually cool. Let's just see how that works. Um, it's kind of fun to watch it fill in, honestly. So here it is. <laughs> Wrong layer. Um, there you go. So that's what we're looking like right now. Um, I do like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, we are not gonna merge these down, but we will combine them down. And that just lets me move this whole thing around like this if I need to. But if I wanna you know, work on individual layers still, I can, um, which is nice. So we're gonna go back there, undo, and then um, let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger. I could have them centered, but I could also have them a little off center because I will have the secondary figure coming in in the background. Um, I do want it to be really scary. So maybe we'll have them kind of down here in the corner, like this looming figure is behind them. Um, I don't know what color, so it's hard because I did want this figure to be shadowy. and I do want the hair to be uh, black, right, on this figure because I feel like it would just look right. So let's do this black hair first. We're gonna put this probably here. And I'm gonna do the same thing I just did with the white, but with black. And so we're gonna start somewhere where I know I'm not gonna forget. So we'll start over here. Um, we'll do this whole area and then we'll start slowly filling this in and the thing is the hair doesn't have to be perfect either because i fully plan on going back over this and adding details and like cool chunks and like you know i think movement is a big thing and so what i like to do after i sketch this stuff out um let's get rid of that um is just go back over everything right and kind of just give everything a little more detail give it a little more care and attention um and it'll look really cool by the end or at least I hope that's the hope with this kind of thing right and so now I'm going to go over here we have the bangs which to me are really important because they are going to be where the face kind of meets the hair there you go and then we block it in all right pretty cool very interesting figure so far I'm not loving all the shading in the background um unfortunately it's still coming out a little bit weird for me very mechanical very uh <laughs> what's it called uh, uncanny which is cool um but I do want to kind of flesh this out more. So what we're going to do is, let's see how it looks without the shading. Not as good. So what we're going to do is go over here, and I'm going to just start drawing this other figure in the back and just see what I can start doing. I did kind of want to have like a claw, um, a sort of something wrapped around them. I do think like right there might be good. What I'm gonna do, since so when I have trouble and I'm not too sure what I wanna do, I duplicate the layers. And so I'll just get rid of this one that I just stood on top. And so if I mess up, I can just go back, right? Um, actually, we'll do the bottom one because, I don't know, it just feels right. Um, okay, so let's see what we can do here. 
Now I can mess around with this without being afraid of losing my progress. Gonna put this over here, make it a little bit smaller. It's hard because I do like to really focus on the characters like this, but let's see, what can we do? How can we make this? So in my mind's eye, there was like, oh, we need a new layer. There's like a figure with their hand like almost like this. That's kind of nice. Um, it's a big claw, you know what I mean? Um, it's not right though, it's not right. It's important to kind of go through this and just kind of do trial and error. So you know what I want to do actually, I'm going to make this person a little bit smaller and put them over here. Maybe in the middle, maybe like this and we put the figure the hair is throwing me off right now because what I want to do is I want to have this thing be like almost like this. But that's not a bad thing. Maybe it can meld with the hair a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, is that such a bad thing that it's like that, right? Um, what we can do maybe, and what I like to do too because I do so much red on black, so I like to uh, explore the space without like, you know, um, there we go without making it so that you can't see the hair. I can always just add some red there and do this kind of thing, right? Maybe I can, when I flesh out the hair more, it just makes it a little confusing. Um, but we're gonna keep going. I'm not, it, sometimes it's like better not to get hung up on these small decisions and just kind of go with the flow. And if you're not feeling it, you're just not feeling it, you know what I mean? So that's all right. Maybe I could kind of infuse them with the hair. That might be interesting, honestly. Um, it would actually, you know what might be cool? Wait a minute, I just had an idea. Just had a brain blast. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's duplicate this again, right, this layer. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this layer down like this, and I'm gonna put this in black, right? Um, that looks pretty good, right? Okay, and we'll add another layer. It's not a black enough black, you can actually almost see the figure there. It would be cool if it was like a shadow of themselves, right? Like that also, Saves me the the time and energy of trying to like manipulate a whole new figure. Um, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> that's cool because then you can also see where the hair is, right? Um, they have this kind of like weird, bizarre, uncanny figure behind them. Okay, I'm liking where this is going now. We're 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 actually hitting it. Um, I have this like dark blue red right here. Uh, rather, uh, it's not blue red. Um, this black in the background is more of like a blue tinted black. There we go. And so is their hair, actually, now that I'm looking at it. So we're going to go back down here. And we're going to do this hidden layer. Um, this is one of my issues with this kind of stuff, is that I, <laughs> I tend to not know where I put things. Okay, over here. So this is this one over here. There you go. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so we'll put a little bit of detail in the hair here. We'll black this out a little bit more. Um, you know what, though? Here, so this is another thing, too. I just actually turned this whole, I changed the blacks, but it's actually nice to have this, like, sort of ghost image in the back because now I can actually build around that. So what we're going to do instead, because we can always black that in later, right, is I can make this figure really scary now um, in the background. I can focus on that. Um, I think that would be kind of cool. Okay, so we have this. Maybe we do a little red back here like this. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and you know what's crazy about that? We can literally do this. <laughs> That's scary. I like that quite a bit. Um, here we go. So nice. So sad. I, I become joyous. You know, I get, I get really happy. Um, oh, you know what? If we really want to show that off uh, in the background, we can make this face in the back kind of like bloody or something, um, perhaps. Yeah, do something like that. It's kind of cool. And now... The hair. There we go. Now we're starting to get like kind of weird with it, which I like. Um, okay, well, let's get this out of here. It's a little awkward. Maybe we can give them like a crazy smile too. I do like the the idea of like this demon kind of smiling in the background, like a reflection of yourself. That's not good. I think that's nice. Um, let's see here. You know, because we, you know, everyone has their their things. You know, there's like the the true self versus the uh, what you present to others, and the almost like this was about obsession initially, but now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, this could be more of a piece that revolves around um, 
you know, the other self, right? Which I think is like a very uh, interesting topic to go over. So let's see, we'll do that. Um, how do I make this work? How do I make this work? This red isn't working for me, but this was. And so I'm really close to something here. I feel like I'm on the brink of it, right? Um, oh, you know what might be cool? Here, hold up. Because I do like this red, but I want to make these eyes a little more defined. So we'll do this. That's nice. Unfortunately, where I'm drawing this, it's a little bit like here. Hmm. Let's see, hard to say, let me see. What I might do here, we'll keep that one beneath like it is right now. And we'll just go over this later on when we have a better understanding of how we're approaching this part. So we'll do this, we'll get this over here, we'll get the other red eye, and we'll do some like tears. I wanna make these eyes intense, I wanna do something. I like this idea that the eyes are brutal. Maybe I can Hmm. Again, let's just take some playing around, honestly. This is how I love a lot of my work goes, so just trial and error. Um, let's get this right here. Oh, that's kind of nice. That way we have that red that goes between both figures. Um, the smile remains, honestly. Or I could have like a really uncannily like big set of lips or something like that. I need to make this figure in the back look more interesting. I need to make this figure scarier. I need to do something that's going to make it... Cool, you know. Um, I might erase this red part over here. These initial eyes I did, as much as it pains me to do so, so I can get a better look at the whole figure and the composition. Um, let's get this over here. Maybe it's that the figure in the front is unfinished that I'm feeling this way. Um, so I'm going to try and do some more polish work on that before I move on to the figure in the background because I do like this whole shadowed figure thing, but I feel like it's so messy right now. I can't really get a good idea of what I'm trying to do. So um, let's go back real quick. Um, I like this layer a bit. Um, I, it looks worse without it. So we're going to try scattered ashes. Um, we're going to go with this over here. And we're just going to start adding a little bit of texture. And yeah, like this. It's nice. And we can always remove this as well. Um, they're looking a little frightened. <laughs> you know, maybe I should do this um, on a layer that's separate from this, uh, these scratchy lines, because I would like to eventually remove them, right? So let's add that. We'll do a little bit of this. It's nice. Okay. It's not overbearing. I do want to add a little bit of red to the face outside of the eyes as well. Um, there we go. We'll get all this dark over here. Now we're cooking a little bit. This is looking better. Um, there we are. Get rid of this. And the great thing is this is also like reductive. So I can always just like take a bunch away if I really need to. Um, there we go. We're starting to go somewhere with this. That's nice. Fill that in, go over here, maybe a little bit more underneath the chin. Light's kind of more coming from this direction over here now, so we're going to just keep on keeping on with this. Um, I got a little beat looking right now. I, will, I really want this face and this person to be um, way more, I don't know, not beautiful, but um, just not as scary as the thing in the background. So what I'm going to do here is fill this area in. Nice. Okay, that's looking good. And now we're going to clean up a little bit. Um, I do want to remove most of this, like kind of like cross hatching I did earlier. That's nice. Fortunately, apparently, I also drew the clavicles that I was talking about on that layer. So bummer. But yeah, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Let's get a little bit further in. Get a little bit deeper with this. Uh, it's got a very dirty texture right now, which I do kind of appreciate. But again, we're going for something a little bit cleaner. So. Let's go back to, let's clean up with just a regular studio pen and just make this a little less messy, you know? We'll get rid of this and then we'll flush out the eyes. We can change things. We can get everything to look right. There we go. That's not bad. We'll have to eventually change these shadows a little bit though to reflect the face more. At least one of this doesn't make sense, unfortunately. Um, but we're getting kind of close. So here we have this, we have this over here. 
These little dots, they're very nice to me in the background, but on a kind of pristine face, I don't want to uh, mess with it. Again, we're getting closer. So we'll get rid of this over here. We'll get rid of these beneath. Where is this other layer? I feel like it's always very difficult to gauge. I do. I use so many layers, I don't use them, kind of like in the standard way. People are like, oh, I have my layer for this and layer for this. Like Mine is kind of like a go with the flow type thing. I probably should work on that. But um, I do think it just helps my creative process. So um, not to be like tied down by like, thinking too much. I think a big part of my personal practice is like, just do it, just go with your gut, just go with your gut, keep going, go, 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 go. And um, I realize that is probably, you know, not the greatest in a lot of circumstances, but in my experience, um, I have a worse time drawing when uh, I, I, I can't really, when I get hung up on something, right? Like get, getting hung up, I used to take so long to draw pieces, right? And I'm trying to do this video and like, you know, like ideally less than an hour I want to draw this whole piece, right? Like it's just like a concept from start to finish, right? And the thing is with that is that you got to just make decisions and stick with them. Uh, okay, so what do we got here? This is looking pretty good. I'm actually very happy with this, but unfortunately I feel like I've come to the point where I need to probably merge these together. I will do one more duplicate just to make sure. Uh, this is going to be a huge file, but I don't care. Um, we're going to flatten this. All right, now we have a figure. And now I can really start doing the cool stuff. So I like to do a lot of reductive work. So I'll just start erasing all these lines, you know? Um, I may have sketched out a lot of this. Oh, look at that. Look at the way it sits on the background. It's very interesting. There is no uh, shadow. Um, so the reason this looks weird, kind of, which I kind of like how it looks, honestly. It almost looks like a cutout, so I might leave it. But um, I need to do like a, a reflection of a cast shadow or something like that, right? Ooh, what am I doing? So I would need to get like, I'll show you, actually. Um, there we go, I like that. I kind of also like when shoulders have a little little dip like this, you know? It's nice. Kind of gives a little sass. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I need to do something like this, basically, where I cast a little bit of light as a reflection. So it, it's not just like, so when you have a shadow like this, um, it's not just all dark towards the edge. Uh, light reflecting from the background will usually give a little bit of texture in the back over here. So it, it helps a little bit. It's not crazy. Um, it's not, it's, it's very subtle, but again, that's, that's fine. Um, I think it's important to trust the viewer and, with what they're seeing. You know, some people like to bash you over the head and be like, oh, this is what it is. This is, <laughs> look, <laughs> it's not, not my um, way of going about it. I trust that, you know, my audience can like intuit basically. Um, long neck uh <laughs> and we're just gonna keep a, actually we're gonna add a little bit of white here because now we're working on the face again right and so this is technically adding but it's also reducing uh what i've already done so that's fine we're just gonna keep going that does not look right there we go again a lot of trial and error here um i am a mostly uh self-taught artist i had a really good uh teacher in high school and I also I went to art school for a year and just dropped out because I didn't learn anything I think it was just a waste of time uh, but can't say <laughs> I didn't get a little college education uh, but it was it was a weird experience um, all right so we're getting there kind of getting like fear and hunger vibes from this and that's all right um, I like their work happy paintings I think they're cool they have a cool Twitter account um, here we go this is nice and we'll do another shoulder like that Fill that in. Uh, I do need this white over here to be a little bit more pronounced. There you go. All right, we're, do, we're doing better here. This is kind of more of what I was shooting for initially. Um, do we want their mouth open? It's kind of nice. Yeah, that's nice. I like a little tooth in there as well. Maybe they're smiling. Maybe they're happy about their second self. It's interesting. Um, it's nice, it's kind of scary, honestly. Let's do this. Go over here. Do this over here. Sorry, sometimes I stop talking because I just get so in the zone. It's kind of scary. I do like that quite a bit. Um, all right, we'll go from there. If we decide to make it scarier, we can go from there. Um, 
Do I want the smile though is the question. Do I want all this red like that? Again, subtle, right? Um, hmm, let's see here. Get this, get that. Okay, it's not bad. All right, now this is a little more finished. Let's work on this background image, right? Um, we're gonna merge. Do I want? So here's the other thing too at the back. Now that I have this figure all sorted out, I can move it around. I can do whatever with it. Um, I just did a piece recently where I did like a figure behind a figure, but it was for the eclipse, and I'm kind of still stuck on that idea. But I want to do a little something a little bit more. Um, I don't know, more human. What is this? Where is this? Okay, so that's that. Um, I need to draw, the big problem I'm having right now is I keep drawing in separate layers. I need to just draw on this one right here. There we go. Okay. So that's actually on them. There we go. Okay, that's not bad. Um, let's create this secondary face, the part that's been challenging me the most with this piece, right? Um, we could also give them a mask. This should be kind of fun. Almost swore there. Um, it's kind of interesting. Hold up. I think I'm playing with concepts. It's funny. I do a lot of these videos on like Instagram um, where I kind of show off my process. That's kind of nice. It's interesting at the very least. Um, I'm going to get this over here. And what I'm going to do too, um, I'm actually tired of all this being screwed up. So we're going to delete this other group. Uh, we're going to delete this other group down here, uh, and we're gonna keep that. What happens if we get rid of this? Nothing. Uh, what happens if we get rid of all these? Nothing. So now we have something a lot more simple to work with, which is nice. Um, I kinda like this. How do I make this scary though? Just give it a really scary face in the background. Do we just make it like a mask? That'd be cool. So what if it's like this? What if it was a skull? I like drawing skulls. <laughs> uh, that's that. There's teeth. Could have like the jaw going crazy. There's this. You can even give them their locks. Like this. And then like this. And we'll do this over here with the skull. A little wonky, unfortunately. I almost want them to be, maybe the big, bigger size is throwing me off, right? This other figure in the back is just too big, too large and in charge, basically. Okay, we're on the right layer. Let's get rid of this. Let's do this person. We're gonna build out this way. You know what, we're gonna give, we're gonna give this guy a shot over here. We're gonna make this one uh, an equal to this other one. Right, so it's not like so separate and so much larger. Um, I may, you know, it might be better if I switch it like this as well. This is something. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do my favorite thing. We're gonna duplicate once more. We're gonna get rid of this thing because it does not matter. We're gonna duplicate this one as well. And so we will just combine these two so that they're a unit. If I could even move it, that would be great. Perfect. Um, we'll get rid of that one. Now we have these other two to work with, and I'm just gonna move things around a little bit. So this is gonna go crazy. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Nice shadow self. Let's put it right over here, okay? And then we'll grab this one over here. Do the same thing. Let's just take it. Might be nice too. I didn't ever flipped it, so they're, let's do, oh shoot, wrong way. There we go. Crazy how when you flip something horizontal, you can see how wacky it looks from the other perspective. Um, it's looking pretty good. Is it centered? Does it matter? It's too big. Hmm. You know what I might do, actually? Let's get rid of this one. Delete. Do some more duplication. Let's just name this video me duplicating my illustrations for 45 minutes straight. <laughs> Uh, all right, flip it. Oh, I'm on the wrong vertices, uh, like this. And you can really see how asymmetrical that face is, honestly. That's crazy. Um, I do not want that. I need to fix the face. <laughs> there we go. 
fix this one a little bit. There we go. That's a, wow. It's crazy how you don't notice it while you're drawing, but when you look at it and you, it's almost like uh, when they say, oh, look at your art in a mirror and you start to see all the imperfections and you're like, oh my God. Um, again, I'm doing that thing where I'm drawing on the wrong layer, but it is what it is. Uh, let's see here. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this one to the back, to the front, perhaps. Undo, yeah, because it's screwing up the face I just did. Ugh. Um, how am I doing this? This is the same one, right? Let's just black this out. Oh my god, that looks kind of cool though. Um, okay, all right, we're getting somewhere. Um, let's erase some of this. Doesn't really matter how much of this black we erase because I can literally just do it again. Oh, you know what? This is great too because with all this extra space, um, I can really up the ante here. So what we're gonna do now that we have these is we're gonna combine down so that they're now a unit. A little happy family. And we're gonna take them down like this, a little bit smaller. Just we did some negative space in the background to make this work, right? Um, but not too much. It's like really finding that balance. All right, this is centered. Um, I need to erase some of this activity happening over here, just so that the neck is making more sense. I need to also figure out the hair. There we go. Looks pretty good. And then we'll get this. And so now I'm on that layer. I need to go back here. We're gonna black that out, and then we're gonna black this out over here as well. And then what I would like to do is fill that in like that. Nice. Let's get this, we're gonna do scattered ashes. We're gonna add a little bit more of this black in here. Beautiful. I'll probably use some of my other brushes before the end of this video, but I'm just starting with this because I think it's it's just one of my favorite brushes that I made. I made these brushes and I made them specifically so I could tackle projects like this and it's been really nice. I was using like the oil paint brushes before. Um, they're not bad, but I think we're almost at the point with this too where I can merge, the, flatten these and put them together, but we'll see in a second. Yeah, there we go. Oh, why is that two different colors, two different blacks? There we go. All right, now we're getting somewhere. That's looking good, looking scary. And how am I gonna approach this now? So we have the two eyes, we have the two characters. Uh, this hair just got fixed, so let's go. Um, let's add a little bit more texture to this hair. The other, I want this other creature to have really, some kind of intense feature, I'm missing it right now. It's so close it could bite me, but I'm just missing it. I also need to change the hair on this other one a little bit. I've merged these right now, I have not, so merge down. There we go, and we'll flatten that. Okay, so this is like the piece right now. So what I need to do is remove, I'm gonna remove this hair and just change it just so it's not the same exact thing on both. Beautiful, okay. Cool, and now we'll add a little bit of different texture just to make it pop and make it, we can also do like crazy, like long, spooky hair like this. It's kind of nice, a little weird, a little tentacly. Looks much different than this other figure now, though, which is the only problem. We do want them to be, almost be like shadows of each other. Um, what if it was like... Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that. I like it better when it was just the original hair. Maybe I'll just keep it really close and add a few little details to make them separate, because I do want it to be recognizable as if this is the same person, basically. All right. So many dilemmas. <laughs> One piece, right? Um, Oh my God, what am I doing? I was trying to black out the rest of that hair so it matched. Oh, I did not merge them, or I undid my merge. There you go. Oh, I kind of darkened it, that was nice. Happy accidents, right? Love Bob Ross, learned a lot from Bob Ross. Uh, I had a hernia surgery, and Bob Ross was uh, kind of like my go-to <laughs> when I was like laid up for a while. Um, all right, cool, that's looking good. I hate this chunk of hair down here on the bottom. Looking better immediately after just cutting it down a little bit. Just giving them a little more texture. I do want to add like some movement here and I usually do that in the form of like adding little black specks around these areas of interest or around the figure, you know, depending. Um, that looks good though, that looks nice. They're looking good. The one on the left is like where I want it to be for the most part. I want to add a little bit more detail and texture and like change a few things or whatever, but like ultimately this is like where I would like to be with that one. Uh, this area, please, okay. Oh, I love it, I love it. I keep picking the wrong black. <laughs> ah. All right, 
That looks good. That looks solid. What do I do with this face? What do I do with this face? Do I just copy this other face? And do I just like totally annihilate it? Let's give that a shot. Copy and paste. All right. <laughs> Honestly, the twin thing is kind of eerie. Um, so we're gonna stick with this. Love that little floating head. Uh, let's do a lot of red. Whole lot of red. Look at that. It's kind of close to our original idea where I was going with earlier. Yeah, a little alter ego piece is fun. All right. Oh, that's nice, actually. Oh yeah, that's scary. Okay, cool. We're we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, I think I think I'm cooking right now, but uh, I'm not sure. So we'll see. We'll go. We'll just go with the flow here. It's got now. It's like really uncanny. You know what we could do too? We can make this jaw unhinged. I'm a huge fan of the old jaw unhinged. We're doing it. We're duplicating. I think I'm I'm thinking onto something. All right, so we're gonna merge this down. Boom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take this. We're going to split it up, and we're going to drag it down. Oh, what am I doing? Where did I go? Oh, wrong one. Killing me. Merge it. Oh, wait. What am I doing wrong over here? Oh, there we go. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Let's try that. That should work now. I'm just fighting the layers, 50% of this video. All right, look at that, there we go, beautiful. Interesting at the very least. Do we wanna have this down like this? Have it like an unhinged, like we can add like a little jaw activity over there. No, it's too goofy, too goofy. I like this other one better, it was just subtle. Again, we're going for that subtlety, we're respecting the viewer, you know what I mean? I feel like that's really what it comes down to. It's like, is this, is this disrespectful? to my audience. <laughs> is this too silly? Are, am I not taking this seriously enough? And so I have to lock in sometimes. Um, I do think that there's a few things we could do here. So first up, before I start doing these teeth, which I'm absolutely thrilled to start approaching because I love drawing scary teeth. Uh, we're just gonna take some of this red and really spread it around, especially because I have this other black over here I'm trying to work with that's in the shading. This would be a nice way to um, just kind of incorporate the two together and have it be a little bit more seamless instead of it being jarring. Okay, that looks good. So let's like make this mouth scary, right? We'll do work on the eyes after too because I do want to make their eyes different, but I do like where this is going. All right, let's do this. A nice big smile. There we go. They're happy to be here. They have regained control over the situation and they're just chilling. They exist and that's enough. It's a good enough reason to be happy. There we go. Beautiful. A little bit of this right there. And then we'll do... Will this be scary or will this be lame? We're going to find out in just two seconds. <laughs> it's a little goofy. I do kind of like the open mouth situation over here. Oh my god. I don't know what I just did here, but I kind of mess with that. Oh, man. <laughs> Why does this happen? Uh, it's so, that's so strange in comparison. Um, you know what, actually, though? I am a firm believer in letting it ride. So let's let this ride. I don't use a lot of green, but it might be fun. Yeah, that is nice. That's super nice. <laughs> you know, I always talk about Lake Mungo in my work, and... Um, how terrifying it is, and this reminds me of one of the scenes in it, so we're gonna stick with it. Oh yeah, dude, that's awful. I hate that. I think that's great. That's like a good um, good vibe. Just like awful, uh, unsettling. Do I have teeth over here? You don't even need it. That mouth is just so great being open like that. Uh, it would also be kind of cool to perhaps it's not the best idea, but we could make the eyes a little bit more like. I don't know. Like that? No, I like.
like it open. I want to fix these eyes, though, because I think this is super scary. I think these, I need to make them a little more realistic, right? So let's try this other side real quick. Um, we'll do this. We'll go above this layer. This has a kind of like the feeling of like the ring or the grudge, which I like as well. Just pulling from all different sorts of inspiration, seeing what works. You know, I usually do red, black, and white exclusively, but it's fun to experiment, right? You gotta like branch out a little bit. I actually draw a lot of different color stuff in my own time, but with the pitch canker work, I tend to, um, that's way too bright, what the hell? <laughs> Again, hitting the viewer over the head way too hard. Um, let's do this. Let's make these eyes, let's get really in there. Beautiful. Nice that. Okay, and then what we can do from there is some of this activity, right? We'll actually make an iris, like a real one. So I can do this kind of messily because again, it'll end up being reductive eventually. Um, we'll do this. You know what, just for just to make it easy on myself once more, copy paste, put it over here, we'll flip it, we'll put it in right there, beautiful. And then we'll do a little bit of white, white, and then we have to have that reflection on the eye, because it shows they're alive. So I think of light like that, like people always talk about all the light left their eyes, I think that's a really interesting um, thing in art, where I'm like, if I'm trying to show somebody has lifeless eyes, I just don't give them any shine. Um, it's like a graphic choice. Kind of cool. Kind of sick. The light is coming from the other direction, though, so I'm screwing this up. Hold up. Yeah, that the light should technically be from here, right? On this other side? Yeah, that makes more sense. Because if the light's coming from the other side, why am I having light coming from the other direction? Okay, cool. Um, we'll do this. We'll do this. It's a little too heavy-handed for me, so we'll go back over. We'll go back over. And then we'll thin this out a little bit. Um, I'm this oh, also this area over here is kind of killing me. So hold up. We're gonna get like this level of darkness. We're gonna go back to the scattered ashes, and uh, beautiful. Nice. Now I need to figure out a way to make these eyes better because right now I'm really not loving how they look, uh, just as far as like, they're just a little messy for me. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get the Studio Pen once more. I'm just gonna slowly flush this area out and give it some life outside of the shading. I like using big, blocky, chunky areas to shade, it's nice. All right, let's get some of this gray over here. Nice, and we'll just go underneath and make that nice and even. Too even perhaps. Let's see, we'll go over here. Very nice. Beautiful, okay, let's have a little of that right there. I could put some eyelashes here too, which might be nice. Again, it's the little messy things that throw it off for me, like this corner over here I need to work on. There you go, it makes a big difference. Hmm, am I happy with this? I know when to call it, but we're not there yet, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, let's see, we'll go over here. Do I even want this? these red teeth? Does it look better without? No, I like the teeth a little bit. They give a little character. Do they though? No, it's just the shape of the lips I didn't like. Okay, hold up. Get this, get this, this will go over this way. <laughs> Too goofy. Alter ego. Looking, getting there though. Okay, so this guy definitely needs help on the, the side over here. And what we're gonna do to facilitate this is, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with this so far, so I'm just gonna crunch everything together like a maniac right now. 
Oh, okay, probably should have done that. How did, what, what happened there? Oh, because the background, maybe? Why is that happening? Layer 4. Do I just delete this? Do I just delete this? Yeah, that's fine now. Okay, weird, but, you know, many mysteries of Procreate. Someone could probably tell me <laughs> in the comments what I'm doing wrong. It'll happen sometimes. Like, oh, you need to do this and that. I'm like, oh, I learned something. This is, <laughs> it's helpful, thank you. Um, okay, that's looking beautiful. Great. And now we just need to do something about this other guy. I do want to have uh, their hand kind of caressing this figure. Uh, so if it, let's just pretend there's a hand. Let's figure it out. Um, so their hand would go like this, and then it would go, the elbow would bend. Nice. And then we have, would be considered the fingers. Now how do we do this in a way? Do I want to keep these fingers red? That'd be kind of cool. It would be like blood. But I think the black would be really the way to go with this. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this. All right, there's that, there's this. We'll make this a big hand, okay. Um, we will take out some of this red. We'll just make it very subtle. We don't even have to show, right? Because it's going to be inferred. But I like to imagine the line there regardless of if, whether or not you can see the line work that goes below it. So we'll do this. Beautiful. And then we'll grab this over here. And then this that first finger was so good. So we're going to try and go up this way. Because it's going to touch the red on the sides over here, which I love. There we go. Now we're getting a little bit of action here too and a little bit of movement. And then this, we can actually put this thumb like behind. So it's almost like their their hand is going around their neck at a certain point. All right. We got one here. Long fingers. I do love drawing really long, unsettling fingers. Um, there's that. And then we'll have one going off the page just for fun. Right? Okay. Let's see if I did this properly. I did not do this properly. Okay, hold up. <laughs> Let's try this. What am I doing wrong here? All right, we can just do this by hand too. Let me just really quickly. I'm not satisfied with that result. Hold up. Okay, so that worked. So I'm not sure what I was missing there, but I was missing it. We'll do a little thing for the thumb right there. That's like a branch. Beautiful. Um, okay, now let's go over here. That worked. That worked. Will it work? Yeah, all right. One more. Can we do this one without an issue? Wow. How beautiful. Hmm. It does look really awkward though. Does that make sense? Again, just experimenting, having fun with it. But I do take it kind of seriously. <laughs> It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Okay. Yeah, I mess with that. I think that's okay. I think that's good, actually. I was a little conflicted, but again, I'm like not giving the viewer enough credit. I could probably extend this. Let's put that down. Let's merge it because I do like that. Let's just put this down a little bit. grab you, we go up, we go there, we'll go down a little bit over here, and then perhaps, yeah, maybe we'll just like blend that shading over there so this looks a little bit more normal. I don't know though. Maybe we can just make this finger extend this way so it's natural. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. Um... All right, I'm pretty happy with that. That looks really good. That looks very interesting at the very least. I wonder, my only wonder is I, if I had done this in all red, what it would look like. Oh, red background. I mean, kind of sick, honestly. Really sick, actually. Oh, 
Wow, that's a conundrum. Okay, hold up. Let's duplicate this. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> Duplicating again. All right, uh, let's try this one more time. That was really sick. Okay, it worked. Thank God. Sometimes I do this and it like, doesn't work the second time. That's so cool. That's really cool. Okay, I just got so excited. Uh, did this work? Yes, it worked. It brightened it up a little bit. Um, yeah, dude, that actually came out sick. Okay, awesome. This is this is where I'm going. I like the blue, but sometimes you got a gut feeling, and you guys got to stick with it. This is really cool. Um, all right, well, let's start making this crazy. Um, so I want to make them really scary with the hair. And we're going to add a bunch of detail and just, like, particles around them. I don't think this other person needs it as much on the left because they have their own kind of, like, despair going on. And I think that gives them a lot of character. But this thing on the right needs a little bit more flavor i think uh so what we're gonna do is what i'm gonna do rather is get this kind of take away some of this messy hair is okay but like messily drawn is what i have an issue with um so let's just actually just make this nice and neat we'll make theirs neat we'll make the other one more messy how about that beautiful Nice. Okay. Let's get a little bit more over here. I need to figure out a way to make this other person kind of like almost smoldering is what I'm going for. I think we can even have them dripping a little bit. Yeah, up around and behind them. That's fun. We'll take out this because I don't think it's meaningful. The dripping is nice, so dripping is cool. Beautiful. A little doppelganger. This is kind of like the, uh, what's it called? The Mandela catalog? The alternates? It was like an alternate as well. Alternate personality, alternate self. I do like to go a little bit deeper than that, though. Like, I think when I do the, I do a poem for each of these pieces as well. When I do the poem, uh, I'll probably make this write about something to do with the other self. And like the worst part of you that you keep hidden from people, you know, um, I think everybody has that going on. So I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, I think it's actually really important to explore those themes. Otherwise, you know, you can lose yourself in something you're not. Um, or at least just recognize it and be aware of it. Right. It's like very healthy, I think. Um, it doesn't have to be like, I am an evil, <laughs> an evil alter ego. Um, you can have that, too, I guess. But that's very like uh, edgy which you can say my work's very edgy, but uh, in my heart, it's just me trying to tell the truth. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm really happy with this, actually. I think this is kind of coming to the end of this. I do want to add a little bit more of these, like, debris and things like that, but, I mean, ultimately, this is good. So the piece was indeed not finished. Uh, as a rule, I tend to sleep on these kind of things before I really call it. And with this one in particular, I noticed that the eyes um, on this figure were a little weird. So I had to fix those. Um, I think I also fixed the neck a little bit. Um, on this figure on the right, I changed the mouth and I changed the eye on the right to make it a little more intense and frightening. Kind of almost like I had a lazy eye. Um, other than that, just like little slight things. But yeah, as a rule, I try and like after I finish a piece, we'll sit down. Um, you know, do another activity, do something else, have some food, and then I'll go back and I'll stare at the piece for like 20, 30 minutes, just like kind of going over everything, or I'll like come back to it a few times over the course of the night. It's kind of like obsessive, but I do find doing that, um, you know, you can find something that you want to change normally. And I don't think it's like good to just go back over and over and over and over again. But I think when you've just like freshly done a piece, you know, wait. 24 hours or so and then look at it again and you'll be just surprised how many things you want to change and how many things can be done just a little bit better so uh yeah even editing this video uh so many things i could change but at the end of the day this piece was a fun piece right and when i do something like a commission or when i end up doing something like uh, a series right like if i do like a bunch of uh like a cohesive set of pieces i tend to spend a lot more time on pieces like that um, just because it takes a different level of planning. It's a lot less fluid from the standpoint of like, I have a much stronger idea normally going in. But with something like this, where it's like, you know, the canvas is blank, um, we can kind of do whatever we want. Uh, I think it's just, you know, fun to approach this way, right? And to kind of go as fast as you can, blast through things, and, you know, 
uh, go in that direction instead of really uh, suffering <laughs> and uh, going over a piece multiple times over and over and over again. Sometimes it's great to just, you know, do a quick piece. Um, so I, speaking of commissions, I do also have some commission slots opening up. If you're interested in a piece, I work on all types of projects. Uh, there's a form in my bio that you can fill out, um, you know, or below this video, I guess, in this instance. Um, so yeah, if you want to be considered, just shoot me a message. I choose new projects mostly based on, you know, the what I want to draw. Uh, so don't be afraid of, you know, to reach out with an idea. I like to do digital work and physical paintings. So finally, thank you to everyone who watched this until the end, uh, my Patreon supporters especially. Um, I hope this video inspires you and makes it seem like, you know, a little more accessible to draw something cool within an hour or so, right? So guys, have a great rest of your day um, and, you know, keep creative. Thank you.